course research methods and design. Uh, in the previous uh, lecture, introductory one, we were introduced to the uh, objectives, content of the course. Now we are going to start knowing about research methods and design. So let's take the first step of uh, introducing the meaning of the uh, individual elements of our course name. So we'll know what research is, what methods are, and what design is. So let's start with the definitions. What is research? We want to know what is research from, from dictionaries. We can get these definitions. Uh, research is the systematic investigation into and study of materials and sources in order to establish facts and reach new conclusions. So it is systematic. Yes, we need to, know, to, to have a system for research in order to uh, reach some conclusions or results. So it's not haphazard, it's not, if it is haphazard, it's not research. Uh, and if we don't get results, again, it's not research. So we need some kind of system. We go through some kind of system uh, to investigate some hypotheses, some phenomena, some problems, discovering solutions to these problems. So, uh, we want to investigate some kind of problem, and research always related to, uh, to problems. Feeling the problem is the first step of starting a research. Let's say that, well, this room is very hot. So, you felt the problem that there is too much heat in the room. So, the next step, you would ask yourself, what should I do? So this is investigating the solutions for this problem. Then you will start to gather some data. Well, is there uh, air conditioning here? Well, yes, there are some air conditioning here. But what what is causing the problem? Maybe uh, the, uh, the 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 yellow uh, too much yellow lights here in the room causing the the heat. Yes. So you you would start then gathering data, testing some solutions or hypotheses until you reach the the results or uh, a solution to your problem so the first step of research is to feel the problem if you are asked in the final exam what is the first step uh, in any kind of research is finding a problem or feeling a problem or uh, feeling the urge to solve a problem so from research, we want to establish facts and uh, uh, and results. Research can produce to us some facts, and that uh, uh, all was done through through science. Science usually uh, produce facts. One plus one equals two. Uh, in humanities, it's different. Uh, what I mean by hu humanities, I mean uh, uh, studying uh, things related to human, like uh, history, like uh, languages, uh, like uh, sociology, and etc. Uh, it's difficult to establish facts until we uh, are hundred percent sure. And how can we be sure? Through research. We can conduct research once, twice, uh, for a million times until we are very sure that this is the case. If this is the case, then we can get a fact from all the research. So we can get from research facts and conclusions or solutions to our problems through collecting some materials, data from different sources. Then, this is research. But how do we do it? There are different methods to do research. So a method is a particular procedure for, for accomplishing or approaching something, a systematic or st established one. So a method is a procedure or an approach that can lead us to something. Uh, 
we will meet some research methods uh, in a minute what is design some people mix up the two things methods and designs it's different design is the logical structure of the inquiry there is a logic behind uh, structuring this research I want for example to start let's say that I have problem that why um, Arabic speakers learning English have problem with uh, B and P so the logical structure of collecting data is what I'm going to Arab Arabic speakers studying an English course and then I will start to collect data from them either through interviews I ask them questions or I give them surveys or questionnaires and then they answer the questionnaires and then I go home to analyze the data this is a logical structure and this is the design of research and it has a name we will name it very shortly so the method is the approach the way uh, and let me give you an example of, uh, of methods uh, I want um, to use uh, what is called and we, we will be talked about repetitively in this course quantitative and qualitative uh, methods quantitative means uh, has to do has to deal with quantities and numbers I want to produce some numbers from my from my research let's say that I have a research about teachers who score uh, their students homework and teachers who do not so I just want to to know the numbers I do a research and then say I have in this school 10 teachers who score and mark their students homework and five do not mark their students homework so producing numbers from research is called quantitative approach or quantitative method if I don't want to get numbers from from my research uh, I just want for example to philosophize to discuss theories and philosophy to uh, just give explanations reasons this is called qualitative I don't get numbers I go to uh, answer the questions of why for example I go to to the same school I say well yes in this school there are some teachers who mark or score their students homework and there are teachers who don't mark their students homework because these teachers are not well trained because these are uh, teachers are lazy uh, blah 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 so I just try to explain these uh, results and facts without mentioning numbers so this is qualitative and this is quantitative uh, approaches or methods so if I specify a topic I need to specify the best approach for me let's say that I am trying to find a research topic let's say that I want to know uh, which test is difficult for students listening a listening test or a writing test let's say this is my research topic uh, I need to decide from the beginning am I going to use quantitative methods or qualitative methods and from that point other things will be dependent on our selection if I select quantitative approach there are different instruments or tools I should use to help me get these numbers if I want to use qualitative methods there are different instruments or tools to help me uh, generate qualitative data and from my method I can design uh, a research this is simply just to give you the feel of, of, of the course I will talk about all of these in detail inshallah in the next lectures types of research we have something that is called descriptive I want just to, to describe 
uh, I am a teacher in school. I want just to, to describe the practices of teaching English in my school. Uh, well, uh, I have research uh, regarding uh, how many teachers, for example, uh, attend their classes from the beginning. Uh, how many teachers uh, attending late their classes. Just describing the situation without sometimes giving solutions or recommendations. Just description. Explanatory? Well, I want just to explore uh, some areas in uh, language studies and then I want to explain uh, uh, reasons to explain justifications of these practices again let's have the example of teachers who uh, do, uh, who, who, who mark their students homework and those who don't I just to, to want to explain uh, the reasons this is called explanatory ethnographic ethnographic is is very different uh, it's like for example you say I am going to Al Ahsa society or Najd society or Al Hijaz society and then I want to explore some 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 problems. I don't have uh, anything particular in my mind or let's say I have something particular in my mind. Let's say I want to study Hijaz accent. So I'm going I don't have enough data about it, for example. I go to uh, Al Hijaz Jiddah Mecca, Al Medina, and then I start to study the 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 accents uh, of the people. Start to asking them different questions until I I get a clearer picture. This is ethnographic, and we are not going to deal with it much. Experimental, and this is widely used. What do we mean by experimental? We have a, an experiment. Let's say that I have a new technique to teach English. For example, I am going to use computers to teach English grammar for example so I have an experiment I have a group of students in one class giving them this new technique teaching them English grammar through computers and I have another group of students another class and we have uh, uh, and then we, we teach them uh, without computers, just from from the board and from the textbooks. This is called an experiment. You want to experiment something new and see its effect or its effects on students. Experimental, widely used in science and also in humanities, but most of scientific research, these are uh, which are related to, to, to science, biology, chemistry, medicine, heavily rely on experiments. Action research. Uh, action research is simply like I am a teacher and then I try to study uh, as a researcher. I am, I am the teacher and researcher at the same time. I try to study the practices of my teaching, uh, my students. This is called, uh, this is an, just an example of uh, action research. We are not going to deal with it. We have case study research. With case study, I have in my mind very few people. It's like, for example, you have a children and you want to study the behavior of your children in acquiring, in acquiring English language. So this is called a case study. I only study very few cases, not too many, just one, two, three. Sometimes the biggest number would be, let's say, five or eight or ten. So this is called case study. Uh, longitudinal studies is the study of something over time. Let's say that I am teaching now uh, first year university level students, and then I'm going to move on with them in teaching English until they move to the second year and then to the third year and to the fourth year I move on with them uh, trying for example to check their progress in learning English this is called longitudinal and this is uh, very uh, time-consuming and 
very tiring because you need to conduct it over different periods of time with the same students with the same subjects this is versus cross-sectional cross-sectional I don't have to to uh, track the same students let's say that I want to compare uh, the English level of students from the first year and then students from the fourth year two different groups first year fourth year and then I want just to compare their performance and then I, I would say well these students from first year when they reach fourth year they will be like these students from fourth year it's called cross-sectional studies you don't study the same students you study them from different time and from different uh, people or subjects quantitative versus qualitative I explained this uh, to you earlier uh, quantitative you collect data through some tools and you quantify them you, you quantify the data uh, you gather data about uh, for example how many students in your in your classroom who who uh, got an A plus and those who got B C D so you, you gather uh, some exams uh, and then you quantify them you can uh, quantify how many students uh, placed uh, in the A and B or C levels qualitative as I explained earlier you collect data through some tools and you explain and discuss argue hypothesize sorry this is hypothesize S I Z E and philosophize them so you collect data not to make numbers out of them but to make some arguments explanations um, uh, reasons uh, or hypotheses or theories about them uh, in the next class I'm going to talk about the classical report of research this is the classical report of research abstract introduction literature review methods data analysis results discussion conclusion bibliography appendices and I have here a link for you this is a link for a well famous uh, supervisor uh, uh, sorry a well uh, known famous uh, researcher and he has uh, many articles and books about research uh, and he ex explains uh, this classical report of research we are going to visit that link uh, from time to time to know the meaning of abstract and introduction see you inshallah uh, in the second lecture to talk about these um, nice topics thank you for listening wish you the best of luck